What's going on guys? Killer Killer back with another Empires and Puzzles video and today we're going to get into the four star heroes for Empires and Puzzles, the red first. And the reason the red is, is because I've got them all leveled. Uh, that's been my hold up with making these videos. With the five stars, I've got the top ten five stars leveled or if I don't have them leveled, I don't have them. Uh, with the four and three stars, I have everybody so I need to level them so I can kind of make a more... Um, accurate decision or accurate uh, reading or telling of who I think is 1 and 2 and 10 and all that other stuff. But let's get into it. Um, going on with the account, nothing much. I haven't leveled a hero. I'm working on troops right now, um, waiting for ninjas and waiting for October and December. I want Santa Claus and Victor. Other than that, been chilling, relaxing, trying to get these Titans down, trying to get these war scores up, man. You know how it goes. At number 11, I got Colin. So, a lot of people are going to be mad at me about this because Colin is a great wing 5 for tournaments and a great wing 5 for events. Until someone else came out. And we'll get to that first. Colin is a fighter. I think that works out really good with him. He smacks pretty hard. You know, a nice, um, what is that, 180 to all. And then that 330 burn. It's a long burn. It's, it's tough to really, like, once he gets off, it's tough to come back from that. If he gets off again, it's really tough to come back from that. He makes a pretty good tank. His defense is a little light. His offense is super strong for the attack. The problem is he just doesn't do enough damage anymore. And uh, we'll get into that. And I think outside of him being the only of his class that was a hit-all for this group uh, with that amount of power, he just got dated. And I'm really curious as to what they're going to do with his costume. If they do what they did with Aslar's costume to him... He'll be back in the top, probably, I'd say, six or seven spot but right now. He just, he's just waiting on that costume. Once his costume comes out, he'll be back up there. The reason I've got him last is because of his replacement. Now I wouldn't use him anymore. Um, number 10 is another not really used guy because he got replaced in season two, and everybody knows who he got replaced by. Um, Gormick is a great tank. I think he has crazy amounts of health. He just doesn't do a lot of damage. He doesn't have a lot of defense. And if you're going to use the defense down to three, you've got Grim and you also have Tyrim, who's got a skin, who just is a little bit stronger. Uh, the hit all from Tyrim is uh, better. T-Bird, as I like to call him. I like him a little bit better. Him being a barb as well, Gormick just, it's not helping his case any. He's one of those that, yeah, he's a decent, like if he's your hero, you got you can build an offensive team around him from the beginning. But some of us late account or older account guys, Gormick is on the shelf. He's collecting dust. We're waiting for a skin on him. And you'll notice that trend going on with the Reds. The Reds really haven't got the skins besides Bold Tusk. Um, we need more skins for Red, and I believe that's right around the corner. I imagine October or November we should get something on skins because I believe it's the fourth month of the second tier, and that's usually the last month of them. So then the next tier comes out, and we'll get the new skins for the rest of them. Uh, yeah, Gormick. Sorry, buddy. I got you down in the 10 spot. And number nine, Shade Reaver. This guy is really good on Titans, I hear. Um, he can bring you back to life. You become a little ghoul ghost thing, and it's pretty cool. The problem I have with the ghoul ghost thing is the ghoul ghost thing don't hit hard. But, but before he gets you uh, ghosted or whatever not, he is adding a nice 30% attack, 30% crit for four turns on red. That's really strong. 30% crit on red is really strong. I think that's one of the highlight stats that, like, if you put him in for Zimkaitha for the buff up, that's where you can see him, the, the crit rate going crazy. So I imagine put him with, I guess it would have been John F. to get about a 40% crit rate on your Titans and see your scores go through the roof. Now let's talk about this blessing of the dru Drudge or Drudge, however you want to pronounce it. Okay. It last four turns. What happens when you become one of the Drudge or one of his Shade Reavers, little ghoul ghost guys? You get 70% of inherited health. You get 500 attack and 500 defense. Special skills, eternal loyalty. And they don't have eternal loyalty listed before. But it's basically like a sniper shot. And uh, it just doesn't hit hard. I think it's like almost like 100% damage. And it's not, um, it's not Marie's. You know, Marie's zombie undead guys, they come back and they hit hard. But you still are on the board with his zombies, so he does get a lot of love from me. I like the fact his round bonus does damage. He needs a few more people on him. I love the shade 
uh, group, um, the we the weave or weir, however you want to call them, the shades. Uh, they got the purple guy with the axes, and they have mirror weave, and I think they have the axe weave guy. I don't know what his name is, but them together, the ghost and the ghoul and the thing, I think that's going to work really well, especially with Ambiana. Um, and we'll get into her at a later video. I like this guy. The problem is I have I found use for him. If you're missing, let's let's clarify. This is where I got him. So if you're missing Mickey, Tarlac, Gazelle, Ranveer, Wukong, Shade Reef, maybe will replace Bull Tusk and possibly replace Krill for damage output. That's where he would be, I believe. He would be number six for the damage output so this is where you could add not having that wukong and not wanting that miss this guy possibly could get your buff up on titan if you're missing all five of them try shade reef for your for your fifth spot on a four one going against titans this guy would probably do a lot of damage for you he's a he's a, he's a decent hero i like him he just for an account uh, uh, older account he's one of those guys you love it up you're like oh that's cool and you kept moving that's where I met with him. Uh, number eight, I got Kylie. So Kylie is a sniper, and she has a nice burn damage. The problem with Kylie is she's not enough attack to put her on the uh, event red team, and the burn damage is four or six turns. It does the same, does more damage than Collins, but it's just, she's not one of those you keep around and you, you use her all the time. Now, if you don't have any other snipers from red, yeah, I can see you using Kylie. It's just the way red four stars are grouped and paired. Kylie kind of takes a back seat because the pairings work so much better with some other heroes we're going to talk about. Um, she is a sniper. She's the right class rogue. I like her. She's pretty much your four star Marjana. Um, but like Marjana, she is dated as well. She happens to be one of the only red true snipers. Um, there are a, There is another and a half sniper on this list. Um, we need more red snipers. How do we go four years now in this game and we only have one red sniper uh five star sg fixed that i know you guys are working on it but that was too long same with yellow poseidon like i mean it was too long june june shouldn't have been a sniper as long as he was and marjana shouldn't have been a sniper as long as she was if you look at the rest of the classes there's so many more snipers for green red per, or green blue and purple it doesn't make sense that you guys haven't created more snipers for the four star and the five star classes for red and yellow um yeah and number seven, I've got Sir Lance a lot. Now, I've got him above Kyla because at least he buffs the crew and he has a family bonus. He's a fighter, so he's going to come back to life. He doesn't hit that hard. Um, he has an attack up, which is good, and that's cool. So three people will get attack up. They'll get mana up, and they're going to be, you know, and he's going to hit. The 48% attack up is great, and this is what they were using on Colin. Uh, to make him hit harder for a kill for the events and also for possibly tournaments, I could see. And that's why Colin was around for so long because that uh, 185, I believe it was, plus the 48 made him kind of a heavyweight. But now we have somebody else who's kind of already there with, with the 48. So you add the 48 to him, he's going to be even more of a heavyweight. Um, it's 180, sorry. His damage was 180 on Colin to all. So... I'm cool with that. I mean, Colin, I mean, Lance is Lance is strong. He's one of those heroes that you snag, and you're like, I don't really know what to do with this guy. He is an event guy. He's kind of one of those event heroes. He's not one of the ones from uh, Knights of Avalon that just goes to waste, or one of the four stars that goes to waste from some of these events. I feel like Gretel, Merlin, um, I know this is going to sound crazy coming out of my mouth, definitely Captain Diamonds, and definitely... Um, definitely possibly cheshire cat get get tossed it away so you don't use them as much anymore if you have five stars to do better stuff um on the four star level but for the mid-tier lancelot sir lancelot is one of those that gets used uh peter uh hansel gretel hansel uh peter hansel and i guess boomer is another one that you possibly would toss it away but i like boomer um but you know, not here nor there. Sir Lancelot definitely gets used um, for the seasons and for the events. He's one of those that stays around. Sir Lancelot is at number seven. At number six, I've got Samoto. And the reason I have Samoto is because four stars have a reflect kind of meta. 
and he enhances the reflect meta. He comes from the soccer family, so he also gets mana up when you um, pair him with his other his other counterparts. He doesn't fall too short of being placed on a five star team if you stack it right. He has reflect built into him, so Samoto actually is that third reflect of the family from the reflect damage with Boral and Cyprin on four stars. So you could put Boral and Cyprin in the tank spot and possibly flank one or the other, and then put Maso um, Samoto in the blast wing spot where he wouldn't get reflect by himself, but he does it on his own, and his reflect actually works a little bit better than theirs. So. Let's go over him real quick. I like him, and also he is, uh, he's 300%, so for four-star, I guess I'm considered that a sniper, but his reflect is kind of what makes him a little better. Let's go over the reflect, 300%. The caster counterattack with 135 of damage received for five turns. The caster regenerates a moderate amount of mana for each counterattack. Uh, the effect gets diminished from consistent uh, action, um, I can't even read, oh man, I messed up that word, uh, diminished from consistent activations during the same turn, good, I couldn't get activation out, anyway, yeah, so it, so basically what happens is the first hit, he gets a, more mana, then the second hit, he gets less and less and less, but it's increasing his mana so he can hit you again harder and he's already fast like this guy is a really independent contractor i like him a lot i've been using him a lot i've actually used him over kylie and replaced him for hansel on certain things mainly uh the the, the tournaments not events events he's still on the back burner um so that's how that works speaking of which that was that dad calling um so i like i got samoto at number six at number five, Guardian Falcon. Now, Guardian Falcon is one of those heroes right now in the game. He's a forever hero. Um, you always will use Guardian Falcon on Titans because he's the only hero in the game that has a red shield down. Um, you can use him on other things. He's definitely for events. And he's one of those forevers for events. So even if we do have a five-star red shield down he'll always have the red shield down for the four star so for was it rare um rare legendary and epic so for epic there we go epic he will always be relevant when it comes to events you'll always see guardian falcon and he just got kind of a a counterpart that makes him even stronger now like only thing that's happened to the next heroes that are from four up is they just got buffed um they got a big buff uh starting with Starting with Guardian Falcon. Uh, Falcon is definitely there. He's going to stay there. His his family bonus and him being a Paladin. Paladin is a better thing. Um, his family bonus, I want to say, gives him defense as well, too. Let me double check and make sure. I'm going back and forth between blue stacks while making this video. So I think he gets more. So he gets more defense with his family bonus. The problem with that is the only person you're pairing him with, I believe, is Jackal. And I don't ever see them pairing together. That's the problem I have with the with the Guardian family bonuses. You really wouldn't put them together. Uh, you just wouldn't. But it's one of those things that's better for him. If you do run Jackal and a, a Guardian Falcon together, then you have a defense plus his Paladin buff, so now he's really, really beefy. Uh, when Emblems first came out, uh, Guardian Falcon, a lot of people brought to 20 at first. And then, you know, slowly as Telluria has taken over the, the Paladin spot, I can see people... Reworking that to get her up to 20. Um, Guardian Falcon will never go away from this list. He'll probably remain 5, even with skins coming out, just because he's such an impactful hero. He's one of those heroes that if you're starting to get into serious Titan killing and thinking about advancing to better alliances, they're gonna if they're a, a good alliance back in the day, they would check for your Guardian Falcon first. Guardian Falcon and Guardian Jackal. You need to have those. Now you would also need Evelyn, you need Frida, and you would need Panther. And Panther would probably be subjective because she's hard to get. But Frida and Evelyn as well would be subjective. But the, those two, Falcon and Jackal, are definitely a must-have. Number four, I got Scarlet. Scarlet is never probably going off the team for the, um, the tournaments. Scarlet just... Her damage for tournaments is just so strong, and I still use her for events and uh, rating if I'm running a red team because she does so much damage to the three. Um, 
and also she reduces damage, and she's fast, and she's a rogue. She's just really, this is a very well-built hero. Um, this is, I only wish she could hit all, but because she hits three in a tournament, it works great. Um, I like her fast. She's she, Her attack damage is what makes her so relevant. She still has that 1,000 health, so she's not as squishy as some of the others. And her being a rogue, if you invest in her, she's going to dodge specials. Um one of those, I think, forever going to stay right here. You could possibly say the Guardian Falcon might go ahead of her, but Scarlet's right there. Attack damage, I just like Scarlet a lot. Um, I use her quite a bit. You could justify her going somewhere, going somewhere down based off of some of the other abilities other heroes do. I could possibly, now I'm looking at I probably see Falcon at 4 and her at 5, but... I still got Scarlet up here. She's probably top five of the current meta. I can't wait to see what her skin does. She's one that needs an update as well for um, abilities and possibly get that 5% so she's even stronger for the tournament. Um, but she's still, she still is played in the tournament for the, um, the five setup for Epic. Number three. I got to go Bold Tusk, man. I mean, come on. The dude is still the test of time. He recently got a buff with SG nerfing uh vela because now he is the vela counter and he's got a skin and he's five percent faster and he heals more if you use his chef skin but if you want to kill faster take his 48 skin and i always take his 48 um improved stats improved health faster mana speed i still like this skin i still like this Im image of him better fighter he's the only fighter healer we need more fighter healers sg please do that soon um, this is one of the most annoying traits about him. You will kill him. He will come back with full mana, heal everybody up, including himself, and then start all over again. <laughs> and then you might not die then. Oh my goodness, fighting fighters are so fighters are such the craziest, um craziest uh emblemed heroes because you'll kill them, they'll come back, kill them, come back. Like I've had burn damage on them, they've outlasted the burn damage, and then come back and do something crazy. It's just <laughs> just an interesting class. Boltus could be somewhat annoying. For the four-star, I got him in the top three. Um, I think he's a forever hero. If you catch Boltus, you definitely can build a, a team around him. I think his best spot is uh, one or two, which is wing or left flank. Um, that's where I like to put him, uh, especially starting off new. So that way you can go and get the tack up and use everybody else's attack or special with the 48% increase and 27% heal so they don't die. At number two, this is Colin's new replacement. I've got Smalley. Man, this dude right here is nasty. I think he is almost overpowered. And I'm serious. I know that sounds crazy. But I've seen him do some ridiculous damage. I was running him in tournament uh, recently. And after Falcon and Wilbur's buff goes off, and if he gets uh, Lance's buff to where he has that 48% attack up, and you hit the first target with the three stack of share damage, defense down, and sh and fire shield damage. I've hit a thousands. I've hit I've hit the thousands with him. He does so much damage; it's ridiculous. Forget that. Um, what is it? The eighty percent accuracy. Forget that. Who cares? It doesn't matter. All he needs to do is hit one target. After he hits one target, it gets rolling and it is over. And if you have all those stacked up on it green and they haven't died yet. And he happens to hit before they die, it's definitely over. Smalley is is so strong. He is, I mean, it's worth the wait. I know he's slow. He totally go against how I play, but oh my goodness, man. Like he he has replaced Colin times two easily. The only thing I can see Colin coming back is if they upgrade his damage and his burn damage to undispellable like they did Aslar's. If they if they make Colin the four-star Aslar. Colin might, if his damage is equal, he might take this guy's spot. But this guy has a uh, built-in uh, built burn in himself. If he gets low, he burns you. Um, he's a monk, so he can disregard um, debuffs and stuff like that. So, oh my god, I love this guy. He is so strong. He he does. He's probably the strongest damage output four-star we have right now. Including the snipers, because he does all. Or because he, yeah, because he does all. And then with his stack of having uh, shield down and defensive down in his class, he possibly is the strongest. Green has that. Blue has it in the three star. But I don't think purple has shield down in any other thing but a five star. But I think this guy, the way he's tooled, the way that he's got him built, and his damage is so high, 
and seven like if I was to do a four star with emblems, this might be him because I do all attack to see how much higher I can get his damage to go. He's really oh my I, I really like this guy. So far out of all the um season three four stars, I like him the best so far. Um and it's it's totally opposite of how I like to play, but so far I like him the best. I think he's really strong. Uh, and he he has taken Colin's place. He is the new wing spot for the tournaments, um, or excuse me, for the events. And for the tournament, I've used him, and I haven't I haven't lost. Like if he goes off, it's GG. Um, especially after Wilbur. If Wilbur and Falcon go off, and he goes off, it's GG. It's over. At number one, the only forever four star hero, Wilbur, the man. Enough said. Catch fish, whatever you want to do. Family bonuses, adds attack. He is a monk, so he discards debuffs to himself, but he's going to buff himself with attack and share damage, so it doesn't matter if he discards or not. He's the man. If he goes off, you take him for titans. You can take him. You can add this guy just about anywhere. He'll perform well. The only problem I have with Wilbur is sometimes on rage, sometimes you don't need the share damage in the defensive down, but if you've got it rolling... He's the way to go. Um, he changes He changes the battles. I really want him in 5-star. I don't think they ever will do it because he's so strong. I gear, they tried a little bit to do it on one side, but if they did it on both sides, man, it'd just be too strong in 5-star because he would never go away. You just run that guy at the first wing and just let it roll because he's just... He's just too strong sometimes, and four star makes him about right because he could he could easily be a five star if he had stats. Um, adding emblems to this guy, I can see uh, he makes all your snipers better, all your attacks better. He makes every team he's on better, defense and offense. He does great in tournaments, great in events, uh, all around titans to PVE P raids. If you know how to play with him in raids, is the only time he might get like a smaller grade. But as far as the best four star we have, this is it. Wilbur is number one. There's nobody in the four star class that's better than Wilbur. Um, it, and as much as I like a lot of other heroes, this guy's just crazy. He's great. Um, Emblem, if you want to, don't take them. Um, have more than one for your um, for your offense, for raids and 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 wars and stuff like that. I could see possibly having two of this guy, maybe even three. You could run six and then see how that goes for you. Run oh, uh, four one and have him at the front wing spot and just damage down with Wilbur. Might save you, might not. I don't know. Uh, really strong hero. I, I enough said about him. Season two guy. He's never going anywhere. Uh, stat wise, it doesn't matter about the first one. All you want him to do is have health and defense. You just want him to go off. Once he goes off, you're protected for a while, and then you just wait again. Four turns of defensive up and share damage, and four turns of defensive down and share damage. And he gets attack up if you put his counterpart four stars with him, or five stars or three stars. That's all I got for the season. That's all I got for the four star reds. I will be working on, I believe, blue next. I know I'm going out of order. The problem with yellow is I don't have the golden pig yet. So once I get him from Valhalla, then I'll level him. And I don't have Boral skin yet. So I'm working on those two. When I get those two, possibly I will get started on them. But possibly by the time I get finished with four stars, the new skins for the four stars will come out. And this list will totally be gone because the reds will be redone. And I might redo it. We'll see. Um, until then guys, kill a kill out. I don't got anything else. I'll be working on blues next. I'm working on Kirill, Carl, Kirill, Carl, whatever. I'm working on his skin right now with the defensive down and the offensive down and the heel. Um, I'll catch you guys later. Kill a kill out. Peace.